Then we have this guy, Steno. Steno had a bunch of laws that he figured out governed the way that geologists are going to look at any environment that they come into. Steno's first law is a principle of original horizontality. It's a really long way of saying that whenever sediments are laid down on a beach, in the ocean, on a lake, in the desert, they're laid down first horizontally. If you ever see rocks that are tipped sideways, that's not the way they're originally formed. First, they have to be laid down horizontally. The second law is the law of superposition. That simply means the stuff on the bottom is older than the stuff on the top. So when we look at a beach bluff, or we look at a sediment core, which we'll look at later, remember the stuff on the bottom is older than the stuff on top. Then we have Steno's third law, the law of faunal succession. When we're lucky enough to have sedimentary rocks that actually have pieces of critters and plants in them, we have fauna and flora. We have organisms that are preserved in those units. The law of faunal succession says that the organisms or the fossils that you find in the units at the bottom must be older than the fossils that you find at the top. It's sort of like the law of superposition, but it includes organisms. Sometimes when you have rocks, you don't actually see all of the different layers to be able to see which layer is older and which layer is younger. So you're going to use the fossils or the body parts and plant bits that you find in those rocks to tell you what's older and what's younger. Lastly, Steno's law, we have the law of cross-cutting relationships. Remember the law of original horizontality says rocks have to be deposited first like this. Then we have the rule that everything that is on the bottom is older than everything that's on the top. When we think about the law of cross-cutting relationships, that's how we get into the cool stuff of what happened geologically to an area where rocks are no longer horizontal. What we actually see is that a rock that is originally horizontal, if it is then tipped, the law of cross-cutting relationships says that that tipping had to happen after the rock was originally deposited. So when we look at beach outcrops and bluffs, and we look at the stratigraphy, or the layers that are in those rocks, whenever we see a unit or a bed where we have original horizontality, and then we have a bed that's tipped this way, that tipping had to come after the deposit that was laid down this way.